yesterday was really really difficult um i basically been on a sort of emotional roller coaster and just had some really difficult life stuff to manage and try and get right and for a change not specifically to do with ed but the way i handled it was so much about well the way i would have handled it in the past would have been to do the worst possible version of all of my eating disorder behaviors and um in the end i did um i i kind of stuck it out for most of the day mostly i've not having a choice because i had all the time blocks in place and then i got to work at in the middle in the middle of the afternoon and there was the sugar pot there and there was also some leftover cupcake and i didn't even think about it i just started eating them and um it was just back to the same old i don't care headspace where i just yeah i just didn't care and I just felt too emotionally drained to care. And then I, I had my bank card available because I needed to use it for um, life admin, basically. And I used it to buy some food on the way home. Started with healthy food. Um, in fact, it was only healthy food on the way home. Um, but then I got home and of course my dinner was then open and ready to be eaten and I told myself I wasn't going to eat it because I'd already had dinner um, but I did anyway again just mindlessly um, I didn't particularly need it and I was full about like very full before I'd finished it um, and then it just no I wanted to say it got away with itself it didn't I did um, and I just felt this need, which is, it's a very familiar feeling where I feel like I need to do the worst possible version of all of, all of the behaviours that I'm tempted into doing until I get to the point where I'm disgusted enough with the situation and with myself that I can galvanise myself to make the next big push to do something about it, which is ridiculous because the thing that I'm trying to stop doing is the thing that I sometimes do just to gather the oomph to stop doing it. It's completely illogical, but I get so tired with my own mind and my own inability to hold on to the motivation to keep working towards getting better and working towards ending the eating disorder that I'm just in that moment I was just desperate for desperate to be free of the mind that didn't care about getting better um so I did binge last night and I did spit some of it back out again um but probably to maybe 20% of the degree I would have in the past. I was so tempted to make myself sick. Um, I really nearly did. I spent about five minutes um, crouched down by the toilet with both arms resting on either side of the toilet bowl, just looking into the toilet, trying to decide whether to do it or not. And I managed to stop myself um, which I'm happy about this morning. Um, the thing I was struggling with at the time is that I knew I'd overeaten by probably 800 calories. So that makes yesterday a weight gain day unless I do something to compensate today. So there was a big temptation to make myself sick. Um, and then with the logic that that means 
I can wake up this morning hungry and wanting to have breakfast at a normal time and get back to the normal routine. But again, it's the same logic. Doing something that I'm desperate to stop doing more than anything. The, the vomiting is the thing that I am most scared of not stopping. So I stop myself and I rationalise that maybe this morning I would fast for the whole of today and not eat until tonight and maybe I'll take an appetite suppressing drug if I need to to help with that. Um, where I'm at now, it's now 8.30, my, my breakfast is open and available, um, but I'm not hungry, which isn't surprising given last night. Um, so I'm not going to take any drugs. I'm not going to eat breakfast because I'm not hungry, so and eating when I'm not hungry isn't a pattern that I want to reinforce. So, my intention for the day is that I will eat when I become hungry, or rather when I become hungry at the next meal, I will eat. Um, and I think that's the most sensible choice. And the truth is that after binging, after doing all those behaviours last night, I felt better. I felt calm for the first time, well, aside from the one really busy work day two days ago, it was the calmest I felt for quite a while. And given the state I was in yesterday, it, it did feel like a relief. And it's not the first time that I felt like that after binging, despite the behaviors being horrible and being something I want to stop, they somehow end the emotional turmoil going on inside my head um and I do feel better this morning still I still feel very on edge um but slightly less so than yesterday and more galvanized to get back on track um but the anxiety worries me because it has been so present and so controlling. I, I feel like I can't function. I, feel, I sit down at my laptop to start working and I just feel incapable of focusing. Um, I've tried to call the GP this morning um, because I'm wondering whether I should be going back on anti-anxiety med medication that I was on a while ago. Um, and I don't really know if that's the right thing or not, but I, I feel like it's been enough of a problem since I started that it's worth at least having a conversation about it. Um, no, that's not true. I want to go back on it because I don't want to feel the pain of feeling anxious all the time and the anxiety forcing me to think about what I'm doing. That's what I want. So really, I just want to do that right now because maybe it will make the pain less painful um but the adult thing is to say that I'm gonna go and have a conversation and either way that's gonna happen so we'll see um and I'm just at the moment I'm still um setting up my my first proper session with um the eating disorder coach and somehow I I've let all the life stress that's been going on in the last few days become a reason to not set that up but I actually desperately want to start I, I feel like I I've gone from thinking oh it will be enough to do that every two weeks to thinking I, I need to speak to someone every day just until I get through the next few weeks because I'm really really scared that because the last few days have been messy and I haven't felt like I've been on top of things or on track or moving in the right direction I feel like I've been moving in the wrong direction and I just want some kind of security to make sure that the next few weeks moves me forward um, because I'm scared that if it doesn't, that I'll, I won't start again, that I'll find reasons to lose my grasp on how important this is and how serious it is and start rationalising again so that I don't have to face it. Um, 
yeah so that's this morning i'll see you again tomorrow